If you're looking for the running shoes for women, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. If you want to get a good quality running shoes for women according to your needs, then watch the video till the end and then decide to buy. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Brooks Women's Levitate for a running shoe. Every single mile feels weightless with a pair of these supportive running shoes. The Brooks Levitate 4 is a good option for women with plantar fasciitis because they have a responsive and cushioned midsole, meaning they literally bounce energy into each stride, helping you run faster pain-free. They also offer a soft, flexible upper and collar for stability and additional support. The cushioned midsole can also help people with flat feet, as it will help with the arch pain they may experience, says Jay Buda D. P. I'm a podiatric surgical expert at ankle and foot doctors of New Jersey. This is my first pair of Brooks recommended by my doctor. One Amazon reviewer says, these sneakers are comfortable and light but also supportive. I have used them for a couple of weeks now, and they are a game changer. Moving on to the next at number two with the 6 GT 1010, designed with a shock absorbent gel foam in the rear foot. The most recent iteration of a 6 best-selling running shoes prevents pain that travels from the heels to the calves and knees. They're also built specifically to enhance your foot's natural gait from heel strike to toe off, making you a more efficient, or dare we say, faster runner. This running shoe has two layers of foam under the heel and the midfoot. Dr. Prufi explains, because it delivers more heel cushioning, it actually helps reduce stress on the Achilles. This is more of a higher-end running shoe directed towards people that have a tendency to over -pronate. Plus, if you experience numbness or have muscle breakdown in your heel, you will benefit from the rear foot gel as it will provide cushioning and reduce the shock and pressure on the heel bone, he adds. The number three position is held by Under Armour Charge Assert 8. With a breathable upper, a cushy footbed, and a Goldilocks level balance between support and flexibility, these Under Armour sneakers are a great all-around choice for most runners, especially at their bargain price point. The biggest drawback is their glued insoles, which prevents you from adding your own orthotics. I currently had ankle pain until I put these shoes on and instantly went away," says one Amazon reviewer, who struggles with knee and ankle pain from being flat-footed. Plus, they're great for wearing outside of runs, too. Next at number 4 we have Brooks Go 13. If you're training for long-distance races, these running shoes are the perfect fit, allowing you to rack up the miles pain-free. A lightweight mesh upper doesn't restrict movement, while a just-right cushion sole keeps you in optimal form. Responding with support and responsiveness, ghosts are my go-to for long, endurance runs, raves one Zappos reviewer, who calls these kicks the lightest she's ever tried. They are my favorite running shoe, and I've tried many over my 20 years of running. They have amazing arch support and nice cushioning for the balls of the feet, reducing the negative impact of the pavement. The number 5 position is held by a 6 Gel Venture 7, whether you're hiking or trail running. These running shoes are designed with superior traction and a durable outsole to withstand all types of terrain. They also have a gel cushioning system that helps absorb shock during impact. A must on rocky or uneven. I've been having knee pains while running and needed to get a pair that better supported my underpronation, says one reviewer, who runs up to 10 miles at least 5 days a week. These were perfect, and I haven't had pain since. The number 6 position is dominated by Saucony Triumph 18. Ultra cushioned running shoes are best for recovery days, when comfort is highest on your list of priorities. These Saucony kicks the brand's cushiest pair is perfect for those days. You will feel like you're running on air, thanks to the springy sole, snug fit, and surprisingly lightweight construction. If you supinate or have high arches like me you should try these. One Amazon reviewer notes, the arch is perfect for my feet, the heel is really padded, the forefoot could have more padding but it is still the best shoe I have had in a long time. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Adidas Edge Lux 4. Built with a rounder heel, these shoes are designed with a woman's foot in mind. They're supportive and great for both indoor and outdoor running because they have a foam sole that helps absorb shock while providing a responsive bounce. They also help enhance the way you naturally run, thanks to their cushioned insoles and soft synthetic upper. These fit like a glove, one reviewer explains. Probably the best fitting, most comfortable tennis shoes I've ever bought. The number 8 position is held by Adidas Cloudfoam Pure Running Shoe. 
with over 41,000 five-star ratings on Amazon. You just know this added as running shoe is going to be a good one. The stretchy mesh allows all foot shapes to sit comfortably within the shoe, while the midsole cushioning adds a spring to every step. Next at number 9 we have New Balance Fresh Foam Robe Bone Sneaker, an ultra-cushioned and stylish pick. This New Balance sneaker features a heel that's designed to hug the back of your foot for a more secure feel. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Brooks Women's Launch 8 Running Shoes for the Lightning Fast Runner. Try this option from Brooks Running. Its lightweight sole allows for speedy runs without any extra bulk weighing you down. Plus, it's available in multiple colors, so anyone can find a shade to fit their preference. That's all for today. We upload fashion product review videos in every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.